there's been a lot of hype around prompt engineering. And it's been said that all jobs that can be done on a computer will be automated until there's only one job left, and that's prompt engineering. But Anthropic has released something called as the Meta Prompt, which is a huge prompt that can be almost classified as a fine tune. So it's not really a prompt, it's a pre-prompt, meaning it's a set of instructions that uses the model's power to first generate a proper prompt for the model based on the user's task. And this is an ingenious idea, which is providing a guideline to the model to be able to generate a high quality prompt to then perform tasks, thereby reducing the dependence on humans to write high quality prompts. So this means the user doesn't have to be very smart or very good at writing prompts and the qualifier pre-prompt or what they're calling the better prompt is basically gonna help the user to write a detailed high quality prompt based on the basic one line prompt that the user gives it. Here, I have a Google Colab file for you guys where we will see this meta prompt in action. We will go through this file and explain every single line of code to you. By the way, this project is part of the LLM and Gen AI projects playlist series on my channel. Make sure you check it out. Additionally, all the LLM concepts required to understand these projects are in another playlist called the LLM concepts playlist. Now let's check out our projects. In our code, we first install Anthropic, then import user data from Colab. We fetch the Anthropic API key from the environment variables and assign it to the variable Anthropic API key and define our model name. We also create a client that will be used to call the model with the API key. Then we take a look at the meta prompt, which is this huge text with instructions, guidelines, and guardrails, or whatever you want to call it. The thing is, I'm also going to be using this in so many of my future projects because I don't want to have to write good prompts from scratch later on. If you take a closer look at the meta prompt, you will notice that it's essentially a huge list of examples which contain best practices on what prompts should be like to enable the model to perform the task most effectively. In the next cell, we define a task, which is drafting an email responding to a customer inquiring about attending a course. Then there are some variables to be defined that we've kept empty, or it could be something like customer complaint and company name. Next, we build the prompt by using the meta prompt and dynamically substituting our defined task. We then create the message by passing the model name, max tokens, and the messages array, where we define the user's prompt and the system's prompt, as well as we define zero for the temperature value to ensure a deterministic response. And we extract the text value from the content and assign it to the variable called message. Then we simply print out whatever is there in the message variable, which is simply what we get back from the LLM. So basically this is the output. Now the output does look a bit unstructured because we have input and instruction tags, and we don't want these. And we also want clarity on the variables used. Now variables in the context of the email are the values you'd pass dynamically, like the customer email and the course details here. So here, after extracting the prompt and the variables, as well as removing the tags we don't want, this is what the output can look like. Finally, in the second section, you can try out whatever we've built with your own prompt. So we start again with an empty variable for variable values. We take input from the user for all the variables, then our prompt, and finally creating our message, which has the same details, model name, max tokens, messages, etc. And here you can see, even if the prompt is not so great, you get a great detailed and structured email in the output. Now this meta prompt is quite generic in nature, meaning it's helping us in many types of outputs. But what I think can happen in the future is that there'll be multiple types of meta prompts for specific jobs. Like if you want to write an email, there will be a great meta prompt for that. If you want to write a copy of an ad campaign, there would be a great meta prompt for that as well, and so on. And there could even be a huge dictionary of meta prompts, which will be like a huge repo of different types of prompts for different jobs. I also envision a future where people might even be selling their meta prompt dictionaries or libraries. So only one person has to do the job of thinking about great prompts and rest everyone can simply use those libraries. Cool, right? So it's quite possible that prompt engineering might not turn out to be that big of a deal in the future. Now, nobody's seen the future, so we can't say that for sure, but I thought I'll share this awesome new thing with you guys. I wanna quickly tell you about my six Golang and AI projects course on Gumroad, where we built six real world production level applications using Go and keeping AI at the core. In 2024, if you're looking to upgrade your skills and this is the course you wanna buy, now, if you're new to this channel, you gotta check out the 55 Golang projects playlist and the 50 Rust projects playlist, which are some killer projects in the increasing level of difficulty. And uh, especially if you want to learn these two languages. Then there is also the system design playlist and the tech architecture playlist. So loads of free awesome content that you need to subscribe for. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you share this video with your friends and I'll see you in the next video.